Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to go over all the different One Piece card game options you can collect and what to collect from it. So to start with, we got two options. You have the English version of One Piece or the Japanese one. As for this moment, these are the only op options you got. So they're both identical in design and texture, except for the text and the branding is exactly the same. So you can either choose English or Japanese. It's also true for the more unique cards. They really keep the same, the same numbers, the same everything except the text. So very cool, nice option here. You got two options. And when you start collecting the One Piece card game, you somewhat uh, wanna go for a different direction of collections. So for example, one person would like to collect different kinds than the other. And I'm going to check them all. So for example, I got here all the One Piece card game starter decks, ST. So from one to nine for this moment, this is the latest one. And yeah, you have this one in English. It's a pre-constructed deck of 61 cards. You can see behind. And yeah, no surprises here. It's not rare or anything. You can just pick it and start playing. And they also look great on a shelf, kind of like manga books. So also you've got Japanese version or English version. Pretty much the same, small differences. Sometimes the cards, just the art is a bit different, but mostly the same. So if you want to collect these, it's a great option. Another option is to collect individual cards that you like, for example, promo cards from the One Piece card game. So you got English and Japanese. This one is the 25th anniversary from the magazine. I really like this one. So I picked it. So you can pick individual cards. You can pick single sealed products with promo cards inside. And Another option is to pick the cards from the sets, the complete set of One Piece, basically. This one is the OP03, the, the third set from One Piece. So you can collect the cards from one till usually 121 or three. And I got them both in English, Japanese, and yeah, very nice. You get on each set a different Dawn card. And they're really fun to collect. So these are without alternative art cards, which means the expensive ones. So you can collect the cheaper versions or go for the more luxury ones, which have alternative art design and texture. So for this example, this one I'll show you in a moment, the normal version. And this one I just picked because I like the official one piece sleeves. So you can pick them up if you want. So we got here Marco, as you can see, OP03, number 13. And this is the other version, same one in Japanese, same numbers from the same set. The only difference is the art, the text is the same. And yeah, so you can collect the normal version or hunt every different variation and these are the expensive ones basically so you got them now dawn cards i showed you before these ones they have a different background than the normal cards they have a white background usually and you can also collect dawn cards there are many unique ones like these ones kind of like the straw hat crew we got different dong variations, so you can play the game with them. You also got specific event dong cards, which are a bit more hard to get. Very cool. Very, very nice cards. And you can make a set of the same one, just 10 of the same one to play the game with one design you like. So these are dong cards. Now you can also go for uh, secret rares which are the golden ones they're a bit harder to get and yeah they're golden with texture so 
you can kind of collect the different versions. It's really up to you. There are many One Piece collectors out there. And yeah, official products. So you can collect deck boxes of One Piece. There are many variations out there. You have official sleeve, sleeves as I showed you. Um, yeah, keep your cards protected with sleeves. It's always recommended. If it's holographic and if you want to protect your card you have the option to buy official products or you can buy other brands kind of like the ultra pro with top loaders to keep your most uh, valuable cards protected like this one with the sleeve inside the top loader so great option you can check everything in the links below so yeah, I guess that's pretty much everything you can collect from the One Piece card game. You can either go for a completion of a set, either to go for promos, starter decks, dons, alternative arts. It's really up, up to you. I mean, depends on what's your budget, whether you like. Maybe you prefer Japanese, maybe you prefer English. I don't know, maybe you just want to play the game, then starter decks are really nice. Can use them as decoration and also you know play with them so yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video if you do you're welcome to drop a like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you next time